Yeah. You can't hide from him. You can't hide from Space Daddy Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gang Hub Weekly. Oh, are we started already? Yes. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Tell me Superman's not Space Daddy Jesus. <laughs> you can't hide from him. Oh, my. <laughs> the foyer. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Um, if I was an all-knowing guy, that'd probably be what I'd call myself. I am the foyer. <laughs> uh, welcome right. to the Gang Up Bleakly Show. <laughs> we talk about things that matter to us but may not matter to you. Uh, I'm host one of three, Luis Delatore. I'm host two of three, Daikaiju Tony. I am host number five of three, Adam Oh, Pren. shoot. Are we missing two people? We're missing two people. Yikes. Ooh. Andy? And Pete. That's who you're replacing as Andy. Oh, did you not know what happened to Andy? Oh, what happened to him? Mm. He died? Keep it up. Okay. Keep it up and you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so. I'm just kidding about there being an Andy. There, right. is, a, there is a Pete. <laughs> there, is, uh, there is a Pete, though. There is a Pete. Uh, so before we start, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, uh, Cosmic Comics, the jewel right. of the Mojave Desert. There you go. Show them, Tony. Give them a little, give them a little flair. There we go. Uh, we have everything your nerdy heart uh, can ever desire. We have comics. We have T-shirts, posters. Um, our episode today is going to be on uh, anime. So we have a lot of manga for you to enjoy. Tony, show them what you got over there. Attack and Titan Junior High. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Yeah. So did you s- want a Muppet Babies version <laughs> of, <laughs> of yeah, Attack on this Titan? Is basically, yes. Yeah. <laughs> here, here is Junior High. Cuter, gentler giants. Well, yeah. What do they fight? Do they fight <laughs> Titans still? Well, okay. So the plot's basically there's a human school, and right next to it is the Titan school, oh, and all the ti- all the Titans are school bullies. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> 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 I did, I'm sorry. As soon as you said that, because I wow. haven't read it, wow. I, I've watched Attack on Titan. Right. You know that the, that's a grim story. It's a very grim story, but you know that the Titans are like nude. Yeah. Right. And without gen- without genitals. And horrible. But they're nude. Yeah, and they're scary looking. So what I'm imagining is a scary nude Titan wearing a Letterman jacket. <laughs> just, just a Letterman <laughs> jacket. Actually, well, in the first first episode. What's up? What's up? Give me your milk money. What's up, nerd? Yeah. First episode, all the human students get picked on by the Titans. They get their lunch stolen, and Colossal Titan, out of all Titans, gets to eat Aaron's lunch. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) We also carry the complete (laughs) Battle Angel Alita. Please make a sequel, James Cameron. Please Please make a sequel, James Cameron. Yes. Forget Avatar. I agree. I know a lot of people didn't like it. I happen to not be one of those. I liked it very much. Forget Avatar. Sorry. Did you? You liked it? I did. I didn't think you would like it for some reason. I I didn't think you would enjoy it. The movie. We're talking about the movie. Right. We also have a manga, which is actually more of a comic book. Uh, Stan Sakai, Hawaii Mm -hmm. native. Mm Mm-hmm. This book I love is special. Yeah. I cannot describe that enough. It will take you away. It is freaking fantastic. Stan, who I've had the pleasure to meet a few times, is an absolute nice. sweetheart. Yeah. Um, his book is amazing. It is loosely based off of and certainly inspired by the fictional life of Masashi Miyamoto by Iji Yoshinkawa. Mm-hmm. But, I mean... Sure. Only loosely. I mean, he, this really takes... It in its own direction does a lot of it's, it, it's interesting defini- things. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely like a, a sensationalized samurai story, right? With, with animals, with anthropomorphic animals. Yeah, yeah. but it's just, is fantastic. just fantastic. I met him once too. He was having lunch. He was willing to stop eating lunch right. to like come talk to me, and I was like, no, 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 please eat your lunch. I'll come back in like 15, 20 minutes, sir. And he was very nice, very sweet guy. I, I was with you because that seems familiar. <laughs> yeah, we were at the same con. All right, okay. Uh, yeah, and he <clears throat> signed a print for me, which is nice. Lovely. Still have it. And if you buy a book fantastic. directly from him, he'll put a little. Little quick doodle in it for you too. Yeah, cool. he does. He did. A couple of mine have that. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'm sorry. I just really got lost on that Attack on Titan <laughs> you, Junior you, High. You, you, just... can, you can watch the anime if you want. Like, oh. it's... so what we're <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what we are talking about today. Um, I got we're talking I, about adaptations. Oh, I have a product. I also I'm have sorry. a product. So, uh, a couple episodes ago, I, I was talking about how I just started watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, right. which I had never watched before. So I'm very late to the party. But I absolutely love it. And if you want to read the original source material, they have a bunch of these nice 
hardcover JoJo's uh, Bizarre Adventure books yes. for you to enjoy. Moderately priced, wonderful. The artwork in it is, of course, <laughs> JoJo worthy here. <laughs> yep. Very eighties shonen anime, nineties right. shonen anime. Plus, this book is thick enough to protect you from a knife wound. This book is <laughs> true. This book is dummy thick, y'all. <laughs> dummy thick. Dummy thick. Yeah, I think you're. I think if you had it in your in your shirt pocket in a gunfight. <laughs> You'd be fine. Oh, no, a gun. Uh... No, no, it's fine. They can do it with a Bible. They can do it with a JoJo book. No. What about two JoJo books? <laughs> okay, maybe. Maybe, maybe two, two JoJo, JoJo books? <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Uh, anyway, come on down. Uh, we have all this wonderful stuff and more. Um, and then, of course, we have a very friendly, knowledgeable staff, so you can right. talk to them, and well. they will point you in the right direction. Well, except <laughs> for you. Except for you. <laughs> he's the old He's the old man the judging old you. Man. Yeah, he's judging you. You read Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're reading Batman? He's not even a detective. <laughs> not even a detective anymore. All right. Anyway. anyway, come on down. Mind me if I do the introductions this time? Yes. Yeah. No, please. Go All ahead. Right. So the general consensus for live action anime movies is most of them suck. Yeah. I'm, here, I'm here to say that there's actually a crap ton of good ones. It's just that the sucky ones get a lot more attention than that's, they that's, should. That's there's, fair. I think because there's more that's sucky fair. ones than good ones? That's fair. Yeah. Well, in, in America at least. Sure. In America, there's a lot. More I'd like to lead off and say that when this episode airs, yeah. it may already be out. I don't know, but the live-action Cowboy Bebop, I could give a crap less about. It is already a fantastic television show. It is. I don't know why we need another one. I don't as well. <laughs> and um, as much as I love John Cho, I don't. I see. Don't I don't understand. I, don't like I like John Cho. I don't know why we need an adaptation of uh, Bebop. Right. Is one of my absolute favorite right. anime of all right. time. I. You got a great TV show. It's like already a great episode. TV show. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Uh, anyway, okay. Although I do like the girl who's playing Faye in the live action. Yeah. I believe I, she I is like the guy who's attractive. playing Jet. He was really good in uh in uh and uh, whatever that guy's name, Luke Cage. <laughs> um, I like the dog who's playing Ayn. He's adorable. <laughs> yes. That, they better give that dog mushrooms. I think right. so. I, yeah, oh my god, that'd be fantastic. Right. If they could find a way to make the dog hiccup. <laughs> the way he does in the cartoon, in the in the anime, which was adorable. All right. Yes. I would be happy with that. Adaptations. Yes. So we're not just talking about live action, just right. so that we're clear, because I was having trouble understanding the assignment. Right. And it's not just it's not just live action. It's adapted from either manga or anime or manga anime okay. live action. Just I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can go. Like, for example, mm -hmm. just the A form, which we're not going to talk about as far as I know, Cowboy Bebop. Mm -hmm. yes. It began as a show, yeah. but the manga came out first, oddly enough. Sure. But it was technically a show. It was already in production mm -hmm. <laughs> when they came out with the manga. And the manga is wildly and, different from and the show. And now they're having a live, live action. action. Yeah. <laughs> right. Akira was a manga. Yes. Mm -hmm. A phenomenal movie that does not ever be need to be remade into a live action because it's already an amazing no, film. No, no, I want the Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio version. You mean the Robert Pattinson version. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they're up to now? No, that, that's what uh, it was, so he was changes. considered. And eventually the project moved Ooh. to Taika Waititi to direct aye, it. Aye, aye. But eventually oh that got scrapped Just in favor stop. of him. Listen, and guys, if squad. you want an American Just version stop. of Akira, watch the cartoon version on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, what it's is the amazing. guy's name? There is a guy who made an American oh, Akira. Really? Really? There's the guy who did the Saturday Morning Watchmen. Oh, um, oh. Um, Steve Kayenka? No. Oh, that is, did he do? No, oh, you are way out of line. That is know, not, that is not the guy's about. name. Harry, Harry something. Oh, oh, Saturday Morning Watchmen. I'm thinking of, yeah, okay. Kayenka does a lot of those videos, too, though. Uh, Harry yeah. something, yeah. I know who you're talking about. Although, Saturday Morning Watchmen, that's right. Although, slightly off topic, remaking Akira into a live-action movie would have to be, like, Making Dune into a live action movie would have to be in two parts because, first of all, the manga. There already is an excellent Dune <laughs> live okay. action movie, first which all, I just bought on 4K. First of all, the manga is a lot because longer than the anime since the anime had to make up its own ending since the manga wasn't even finished. Uh, right, that's true. So. Harry Patridge. That's Harry Patrick. I'm sorry. Yeah. I had to give this guy credit. No, yeah, you're Look right. Look up Harry right. Patrick. He does have an American Akira. I got to check that out. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's got to be it's, great. But it's like, yep, this is exactly Because Saturday doing. Morning Watchmen is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're the Watchmen. Yeah, it's like a Saturday Morning cartoon. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. My, I remember but that. Great. Rorschach really loves good. dogs. Rorschach loves dogs. Oh, friends, my God. No. He's, he's friends to all the animals. Friends to all the animals. Oh, yeah. God. And he loves to party. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> Uh, anyway, okay, right. so, uh, uh, sorry, we're getting a little bit off topic that's here. That's satire parody, yeah. But, yeah, uh, any different combination, uh, as long as it was made into some sort of, like, anime or live-action right. media. Uh, who wants to start? 
I'll go first. Go for it. Please. So, I'm not going to go over to Attack on Titan live action since that okay. would take a whole day for me to explain. Yo, there, are pe- there are people that hate that, though. Yes. But I know you think it's very good. And I, I have a lot of other people. It's misunderstood. It. Like, a lot of other people think it's very good but, as well. Okay. <laughs> it's misunderstood. Like Nixon. <laughs> All right. Uh, f- my first pick would be the oh. live action Death Note movies by Shusuke Kaneko, the director of the Heisei Gamera trilogy. Nice. And okay. not, the, not the Netflix not, one. Not the I Netflix. That was I, I was just. Here's the thing. No, I was. I'm, I kid. I, I kid. was just going to get up and walk out because I thought you were talking about the Netflix no, version. Not the and then I'm like, no, there wasn't. A, there was a there Japanese was a version. Japanese okay, version. please continue. Okay, so these movies, <laughs> for their budget, because they have a TV show budget, and Ryuk does look a little bit iffy time to time. Yeah. They're superior to the Netflix version. And matter of fact, it, it although cap- Willem Dafoe was perfect. Yes. He's the and only thing good about that movie. Despite changing the ending of <laughs> he what, looks hap- like what happened in the manga and anime, because basically the biggest change that happens... Well, the biggest change that happens in the first movie is there's this whole plan Light uh, does to like get rid of the cop who is suspecting him. In the second one, it's basically, spoiler alert, L wins. L beats Light. <laughs> um, what? What? <laughs> what? Because L gets his own movie spinoff later on. Yeah. But... Here's the thing. Even though some of the, even though a lot of the things that happen in the movie doesn't happen in the manga and anime, it feels like something like Yagami or something that L would do, which is why I give it two thumbs up. Oh, okay. Like, That's like fair. making a plan that involves sacrificing his girlfriend. Uh, and <laughs> to like to clear his that name. That does seem like something he yeah. would do. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> Actually, something he would do. Because he was pretty, he was pretty sociopathic. You want to talk about a manga that had an, a wonderful payoff? All right, the Death Note manga. But please continue. Yeah. And in the second movie, L, how he beats Light is, um, he basically writes his own name in the book, so he he's immune to whatever Right lights down uh, right, or Right or Light or Rem, whatever whoever wrote his name first. Huh. Basically, he wrote his name first, which meant that he was immune and he was able to prove that, yeah, Light's been trying to kill me with the notebook, even though I, I'm already dead. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. How, wait, how did he do that, though? If he wrote his name in the book, he wouldn't have died. Out, or did he write, I'm going to die in, At like... a specific date. Right, okay. Uh, which, that's uh, what I figured. Which yeah, led yeah, to okay. the L spinoff, where he's, like, solving a crap ton of crimes, and this last one, where he adopts a kid who ends up becoming near. I'm going to die yeah. 300 years from now. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what a life, though, being 300 years old. Yeah, man. Highlander. Okay. <laughs> well, no, I don't there think could you, be I, only one. I think you'll just be alive. You won't be like eternally young. You'll <laughs> yeah, just, just, you'll like just this be prune through. on a bed. Yeah, you probably suffer for quite a like while the before you're lady dead. in the wheelchair on SpongeBob. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> Chocolate? Chocolate? All right. So who's next? For All right, go ahead. Second um, first pick. I'm gonna go back to Akira. Actually, <laughs> please do. Um, just, uh, just. You know, it was it was my for the uninitiated. It's Akira, but please continue. Yeah, yeah, Akira. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's just you know, it started as a manga. It was a very long series of of manga, um, and then the movie. I mean, what what can you say about this movie? I mean, the movie is just it's an animated movie. But it's, it's a very just, visceral movie. It's phenomenal, and yeah, it, and, it, and it and it's groundbreaking in a lot of ways, both in the art style but also as a storyteller i got to see it in um, theaters that's <laughs> badass um Did they re-release it you know yeah. i oh, think awesome. i think what turns a lot of westerners off um especially you know the common american is that they don't really understand the context where the movie takes place you know it, it has to be in tokyo it has to be you know certain events have to happen in their history to understand the setup yeah mm-hmm. um that that's a fault i think that's a I don't think it's a fault of Acura, Acura, the movie. I think it's a fault of Western storytelling where we have to be spoon-fed everything. Yes. <laughs> so that when you have something that's a more complicated story, the average viewer just tends to turn it off. Well, I don't understand what's going on. <sighs> um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, of course, but you know, if you haven't seen Acura, Acura, <laughs> Acura, jeez. He's trying to sell me a car. Uh, a car Acura? Right, yeah. Acura, yeah. yeah. Acura. Um, mm-hmm. If you haven't seen it, I mean, you can pick it up on Blu-ray for cheap. Yes. I mean, it's Hell not yeah. expensive. Do it. Yeah, do it. Do I want. I want to say last time watch. I looked, it was like seven or eight bucks. It is. If you on watch Blu-ray, anime, and it looks beautiful. You have to watch Acura. There yeah. are. There are. If you're even like, it's like Howard the Duck. I mean, if you're even a little bit interested, you need to mm. see it. It's just that good. I think there is a short list of of anime that you have to watch right. for sure, right. and Akira is on. Is one of them. Yeah. Akira is definitely. On yeah, yeah. Uh, mine, mine's different. 
th- this first one that I have is different. So um, mine came from a series of novels uh, written by Hideyuki Kikuchi and illustrated by Tony. You're gonna know who this is, Yoshi Takamano. Who? <laughs> come on. Final Fantasy. Yeah, I thought for a second like there's no way he doesn't know. Uh, he did the artwork in the books. Like they'll they'll have like a like a splash page, and then they'll right. just be all he's, novel. He is a god of water painting. He is wow. uh, his artwork is phenomenal. Hmm. Anyway, so there is this. So Vampire Hunter D started as a series of right. novels, right. and then became uh, an anime, which I watched as a youngin on uh, Sci-Fi on yeah. the Sci-Fi Network. I think I saw it on like Showtime or something back yeah, in the eighties. And it was one of the coolest yeah. things I had ever seen in my life. It was like old world. Mixed with like newer technology a little bit, and right. like it was like far in the future, but 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 degraded. Yeah, yeah, and it was it was very it was very gruesome. Yeah, it was very violent. It was very visceral. It was cool as hell because D is pretty awesome. Um, to the point to where I think there's a Pathfinder, um, there's a Pathfinder. Really? Uh, specialization of Vampire Hunter, I believe. I <laughs> remember seeing it sort of based on Vampire Hunter D, yeah, uh, which I think they had made a deal with the studio to be um, able to hmm. put Vampire Hunter D in there. But uh, it, it was an awesome anime. He's basically hunting the head vampire. It's not. It's yeah. not anything complicated. Yeah, no, but it's not. I think. I think what makes it great is like it's the, visu- a, the visuals. Story, yeah. yeah, the visuals and the artwork is very striking. It's yeah. It's like. It's it's a story that you've probably seen. <laughs> yeah, it's not it, anything. It, yeah, but spectacular. it's so well executed. Yeah, it's just fantastic. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And then of course D is such an interesting protagonist too. Yeah, he tortured and and conflicted and and has his own quite literal demons yeah. attached to him. <laughs> Very much that like Han Solo. <laughs> I only work for myself. Right, and like right. no, I've actually been a good guy the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it's really great if you haven't seen it. I have it on Blu-ray, so I, I nice. think they still have it. You can probably I need go to find buy it, it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. The sequel's good, too. Yeah. All right. All right. Tony, uh, Second pick, another live action. Actually, all, my, all three of my picks are live actions. Mm-hmm. Uh, second one is Nicky Larson-City Hunter, a French film that's uh, based on the manga and anime City Hunter. This is the Jackie Chan version or no? No, this is... Okay, the Jackie Chan mo- version <laughs> is a pretty good movie just for the Street Fighter scene. The Street, yeah, Fighter, Street Fighter, scene. Fighter scene. But this one is m- probably the most faithful adapta- adaptation of City Hunter. Huh. Basically, um, synopsis, guy's a private investigator, uh, Ryu, and um, his partner dies, but his hot younger sister who becomes his partner, and occasionally they stop terrorists, work with the government... You know, it's kind of ca- like casual, a Jack Jack Bauer, like <laughs> casual save Japan. Sure, you know? nice. And okay. this this nice. French film uh, gets everything right. Like Ryu, he's a perv and occasional <laughs> douchebag. Oh. Um, they kept that the, part of it. The humor is on point. Um, some songs from the anime are in the movie, especially in one scene where he's like chained up and he has to like fight a bunch of guys and it's in first person and it's in a junkyard. Uh, they managed to get in the hammer that um, his partner always smacks him with every time he she catches him hitting on girls. Nice. And yeah, good movie. I recommend you checking it out. So what? Who is? Which one is it? Just just so people don't get the wrong version it's of this. City Hunter, but well, it's it's one of those movies where there's like multiple titles, like Gosling Ray's Get right. Gigantus. It's City Hunter twenty. I want to say twenty eighteen when when it came out, but it's the latest <laughs> version or Nicky Larson. Maybe okay. that's his name in the huh. French version of the manga. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. What do you got? What do I got? Yes, uh, sir. Uh, uh. Um, good start. Ghost in the Shell. Okay. Yeah, it's an easy pick. Do you remember? The, do you it's remember where I said there was series. there was a list of anime that you have to watch? Right. That's one of them as well. Is Ghost in the Shell? Yeah. Yes. Um, oddly enough, I tend to like some of the later films more than the original. The original is good, though. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if if you've seen the Scarlett Johansson version, which isn't terrible, mm-hmm. but it does, especially in the finale, not with what happens as far as the story, but what happens with her as a character and her sort of denouement, they philosophically change what the original was about, which is disappointing. Yeah, it's watered down um, to. It's be very more Americanized like, yeah, or Westernized. Be more like a superhero. Be special. Story. You're special, and that's okay. Mm-hmm. When the original philosophically was basically, it's okay to become 
part of something bigger than yourself. Yeah. Which was sort of the philosophy behind the original. Um, you know, the original is great. Um, <laughs> some of the movies that came after are really great. Yeah. I mean, just not all of them. I did enjoy the series. But yeah. Um, so it's just a solid. I mean, if you're looking for something new to watch, and, and well, it's older. If you're looking for something new to watch and you haven't watched some of the older stuff, um, definitely hunt some of those down because they're really good. Yes. And watch the original. Good for stuff. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you got to start with the original. Start with the original, yeah. yeah. And there's a, a very cyberpunk, by the way. If you're interested in that sort of genre, it's 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 good example of early cyberpunk um, shows and movies yep. that you just don't it's see in the Western animation. yet. Even though cyberpunk originated in the West by Western authors, mm-hmm. really the Japanese have done more with movies and TV shows than West yeah. the West has. So. Although Blade Runner did predate Akira and Ghost in the Show, right. right? Yeah. Blade Runner would be, yeah, or very early cyberpunk. Yeah, even before the original book that sort of coined the term. Hmm. So, um, so my uh, next my oh, next yeah, one. Uh, now I know how you and me feel about. Mm-hmm. Uh, tabletop RPGs. Right. I'm not sure about Tony. Have you played like a like them. a D and D or a, I know you hate them. <laughs> I played D and D in high school. You played D and D in high school. Okay, so you have some idea. Okay. Yeah, nerd. Cool. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you King did of, math, nerd. And, and, and I love King of Tokyo. Nice. King of I do great. love King of Tokyo. Back uh, in stock, by the way. King of <laughs> Tokyo. And we have the Halloween Monster Upgrade Pack. I, I already have all of them. Oh, so okay. you don't have to be afraid of me. Anyway, go ahead, go ahead. Way to have an ad break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm so happy because it was out of stock for so anyway, long. Anyway, so, a great game. so my, ne- my next pick is more of a nostalgic pick. Uh, I think I saw it also on the Sci Fi channel uh, when I was young. Uh, but it is based on a, a tabletop RPG that was then transcribed. Into a story, which Lotus. later was turned into a manga, which later was turned into an anime, which is Record of Lodos War. Lodos War. Fantastic, yeah. I absolutely love yeah. Record of Lodos War. It is War. good, yeah. It really does feed into my like need for Wait. more dynamic Tolkien-esque, story t- yeah. Tolkien-esque type and storytelling. And, 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 and it, it feels very, very good. D&D. So it's an anime yeah. that was originally a tabletop? Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's very Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah, right. So uh, Record of the Lodos War. Record of Lodos. So Ryo Mizuno uh, played D&D. Yeah. They had all these characters. Uh, they, have this, they had this thing, which I guess, I don't know, I think it's kind of unheard of now e- here in America, but back then is they would transcribe their games right. into stories. We actually, so like whatever happened in game, you would transcribe I a, it. I was in a few groups where we kept very detailed logs, so it's like st- it's like stories. But anyway, go ahead. Right, yeah. and then they would Something we don't do anymore. And then you sucks. would send it to like yeah. a mag, or you would print it yeah. out, and people would buy them and read them to yeah. read your D and D campaign, basically. Yep. Um, and then that got turned, in, and then uh, Rio Mizuno turned into a manga, and then the manga got turned into an anime. Um, which good. is it's it's it's, really it's, it's a long it's a couple degrees yeah. from one thing to another, yeah. but I absolutely love the yeah, idea. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're looking for like fantasy fantasy done European fantasy done in like a very Japanese way, Record of Lodos War, uh, you can definitely pick that up. That they did just re-release the oh. the original novel, and they re-released Ooh. the series, nice. which I believe has both anime series on it. Which don't, don't I think quote me on which that. the first movie that came to the West was a sort of an amalgamation. Of the series, wasn't it? I don't remember. If there, was, there was an original movie. It was like Macross the movie, which was just <laughs> just just chopped up, chopped yeah. up show. I thought I thought that's what the record of Lodos War was too. Uh, yeah, I don't remember ever know. seeing that version of it. I do uh, remember, okay. like I said, I saw it on Sci Fi when I was a young right. when I was a younger yeah. man, and uh, it was there uh, that I watched like every episode. So right. it's only six episodes long, I believe, or twelve. Ep- I'm sorry, twelve episodes long. Okay. So there's not much. There's not for the last there. one. Let's keep it a little brief. I don't want to run too long in this right. episode. But uh, what All do you right. got, Tony? Number one favorite live action. Oh, number one. Manga Sorry. <laughs> ad- adaptation. Yeah. Old Boy. Really? Yes. We're going to have to breeze through mine really? then because Old Boy was also mine. I, oh. I thought that. No, movie, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll talk movie. about it with you because it's, it's a great movie. I thought that movie was overrated. No, are you talking well, about the Spike Lee movie? Yeah, okay. No, no, no. We're not yes. talking about the Spike yes. Lee no, movie. No, the, yes. Korean, oh, the original Korean movie. I you, didn't, just, you didn't like it? No, it's not that I didn't like it. I just, it was one of those movies where I watched it and I didn't get why some people were just like, oh my God, it blew my mind. I'm like, it's good, but it ain't that good. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, okay. Uh, I, I, I guess I can see that. Yeah. I could see that. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I had no idea that it was based on, on a manga. I thought the third act just kind of dragged, to be honest. It's okay. just, I get the point. I get it. He set him up to do all these horrible things. 
why well, is this scene the, well, going on? The, 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 on, one, the on. one big horrible right, thing. Right, right. Yeah, so there's a, well, I'm not going to spoil it because you, you need to see this movie for You yourself. should see this it's movie. Like, yeah. But like, there are certain scenes that... There is a scene that inspired a couple scenes from the Daredevil show, yes. actually, yeah. The but hallway like, fight, yeah. Yeah, the hallway like, fight. Even when he's like supposed to be the protagonist of the right. of the movie Ode Su, like there there's still some scenes that drag out that are there to establish that he's kind of a pervy douche, especially when he's in the <laughs> right. barbershop yeah. and he's yeah. like looking at some lady's legs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But my God, that hallway fight scene. <laughs> one of the best yeah, I was blown stuff. away. Yeah. yeah, he's just fighting all these dudes with a hammer, and it's it's <laughs> amazing. It's it so good. Yeah. Like, that ma- like sometimes he miss some of his hits and. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which yeah. I think really all played into... All filmed in one shot. Yeah. yeah, all one shot, which I think yeah. really played into, the, really like cool. you said, the Daredevil fight uh, right. where he fought some guys in a hallway. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I thought it was great. I thought psychologically it was really... like It took me by surprise for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I thought I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I liked it. I'm not saying I that. bought a Just... special edition version yeah. of it. That comes in a tin box that looks like the Band of Brothers tin box. Oh yeah! And you know how? Have you seen it? The Band of Brothers. I'm yeah, sure yeah. you have. They probably put them out for Christmas right, or anything yeah, so yeah. you can buy for your dad or something. But they have a little strip of like all the soldiers on it, right? right? Yeah. It's it's basically the hallway scene. <laughs> Oh, it's in a brown, like, nice. bronze box, and it's, like, the hallway scene just right above it, and just old boy. Holy crap. Right. It's really good. Oh. Yeah. And it comes with the first volume of the manga. Oh, nice. Nice. Did you have anything to add to old boy? Hmm. hmm. Was it a Japanese manga? Yeah. Uh, the, the manga was Japanese, but the, the, the movie is Korean. The movie's yeah. Korean, yeah. 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 Uh, fun fact about one specific scene involving eating a live squid. Um, <laughs> it took three takes, and since the actor's vegan, he had to do a Buddhist prayer every time he <coughs> ate Oh, one. no. Oh, wow. Poor and w- and the third time it was actually really dangerous since I think it went up his nostril and down his throat and s- and you know if you eat squid live and you yeah. can actually choke and yeah, yeah. die in it because it's not wanting to go yeah. down Guys, clearly I mean if this movie has taught us anything it's do not overlook Korean filmmakers oh that's for yes. sure so many Korean movies that's that are the sure. host guys the train host? to Busan yeah. train to train Busan. to Busan yeah yeah even the sequel Paras- I, I saw Parasite a lot of I actually enjoyed it quite a bit a lot of people didn't like the sequel but train to, the sequel to Train to Busan's not as good, but it's, it was still pretty good. Peninsula was that. pretty good. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't as good as Train to Busan, but it was pretty good. That was my third. So uh, we're all, we're done here. What yes. do you got? Snowpiercer. Oh, wait. oh wait, okay. So well, that's based on a French comic. Yes. Yes. Snow, I have the movie and I have Snow the comic. Snowpiercer. Wow, what a downer book that is. <laughs> yeah. Holy yeah, crap. Yeah. Well, the movie's kind of a downer too, I, but it's fantastic. I felt like I should have read that book. Holding a cigarette and in black and white, <laughs> just completely in the rain. Monotone. Rain outside, yeah, out, yeah, by the window. Like I would yeah. read a couple pages and then look out pensively. Yeah, this country, she is sick. Yes, <laughs> she is. Yeah, sick. she is sick. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry. Please continue. No, no. Well, I'm trying to keep it brief, but yeah, Snowpiercer, just fantastic. Great, great, great stuff. Talk about yes. the movie. Yeah. As well. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. Chris mm-hmm. Evans is in it. Captain America is in it. You guys. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You get to see him he knows what baby tastes like. Mm. <laughs> They're ten. It was delicious, according to him. <laughs> Just imagine real baby back ribs. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, oh. oh God. Sorry, I didn't enjoy that either. But um. <laughs> you know, just a just a couple of quick hits, I guess, as far as like things, which we kind of touched upon at the beginning of the episode. I mean, what are some things really quick before we get out of here that just I don't don't need a live action adaptation. Oh, like most most oh, anime stuff, stuff that don't need it. Yeah, I mean, I'll get, I'll start with like Speed Racer. Honestly, it was great except for the actual racing is where it I, failed. I still liked it. The, I the racing it. was terrible. Everything else about the movie was fantastic. Actually. I, the racing looks cheap. It, I mean, like cheap it wasn't CG. even racing. It was Carfu, which was yeah, just, which I, I enjoy. I think the same year is when Talladega Nights came out, and Adam McKay, who's a comedy director, made NASCAR look exciting. The most boring racing in the that. world. I'll give Yet you Speed Racer, the Wachowskis couldn't figure out how to make well, actual I mean, racing even the interesting. Carto- even the cartoon was Ugh. like a gladiatorial oh, chariot yeah, because, battle. Yeah, like, but they weren't battling like no, that. Yeah, this, oh, no, this they way. were smacking yeah. each other constantly. Anyway, Imagine yeah. high-tech cars on Rainbow Road in Mario Kart. That's what this movie was. <laughs> right, right. Um, what else you got? I did collect all the Hot Wheels. What else you got? I mean, we talked about, you obviously. Mach 5 Hot Wheels? Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Cool. Um, That's awesome. So stuff that shouldn't get a live action. I mean, I, I Cowboy Bebop. I don't think should. Try uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. Uh, I saw that movie. Okay. Yeah. But Trigun. Trigun is too good for this world. Is Trigun? <laughs> did, did it have a live action? 
No. Oh no, like stuff. That Trigon from DC. Oh, I'm I thought kidding, I thought I'm we were kidding. talking about stuff that already exists. Well, Are we talking about stuff that already or stuff that could, just shouldn't could be, be either there. or. Okay, either I see. Or. I see what you're saying. A- Akira should not have a live action. Right. It's okay. already a fantastic film. No, no, I got you. I got you now. Unless, yeah. well, if Akira is ever going to be remade, live action or animated, it has to be the complete story of the manga. It well, that's true too. Yeah. It can't rehash the same. Okay. Grant. Got anything else? Uh, that should be, that should not be made. Right. I was going to say Attack on Titan Junior High, but I kind of want to see it. <laughs> yeah, I want to see kids get picked on by Titans. I want to see the colossal Titan in the Letterman jacket like, give me your much money, nerd. <laughs> and then I'm going to eat you. Yeah. Who's that, Mikasa? Is that your girlfriend, nerd? Right. right. Uh, okay, so um, any plugs before we go? Oh. Um, T Public slash GoFenris or Oddity Collectibles. This guy knows Titan where it's YouTube channel, um, show called Token <coughs> Titan Cast. I came up with the name. Yes. Nice. Nice. Hope you're getting royalties. No. Nice. I better. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, yeah, so um, uh, Friday, I will be at my house. <laughs> Come on by and say hi. Watch Attack on Titan Junior High. <laughs> well, yeah, why, uh, that's what I'll be watching Attack on Titan Junior High. So give me your Crunchyroll pass. <laughs> password. <laughs> Because right. I don't have one and I can't spend any more money on subscriptions. Right, just yeah. watch it with ads. You just gotta, you gotta oh, that's, no. that's gross. Ooh, ooh. You just got to turn your volume down. I would rather you. not watch it. You get to be the honest. hell out of here, sir. That's how that's how bad I am. I will yeah. literally not watch something if I have to watch ads. Oh. I just won't. I just won't. It's okay. so spoiled. I, I hate, like, commercials drive me crazy. I, know it takes I you hate out of the immersion. I hate them. Yeah. But Crunchyroll ads, like, you just got to turn the volume down because it just blasts off your TV. Oh, they do. Yeah, right. The vo- the Is it still like that where yes. the ads are like, like the oh, volume is like twice as much as yes, on Crunchyroll? Like, for some, yeah, yes. on Crunchyroll, for some yeah. reason, it comes to a commercial and the volume is like twice <laughs> as loud. Oh, I don't know. I don't think yeah. I watch enough anime to get to, to, to right. justify buying Crunchyroll. But. All right. Let's get out of here. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get out of here, guys. Uh, Please uh, like and subscribe and hit the bell icon right. to get notified when we put out videos that will probably make you angry or happy or, I don't know, let us know in the comments right. if you're angry or happy at us. Right. There you go. Turn into a Titan. Right. Good night. Good night. <laughs>